Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. I wanted to do a follow-up video to the watercolor stretching video that I did earlier this week because uh, many of you guys were a little confused as to what to do after we stretched the paper. So this is a piece of watercolor paper, 90 pounds, that I had stretched and painted on. Um, this is a birch tree painting, and if you want the tutorial for this, it's the same technique as I used in the birch tree greeting card. I will put a link below the video so you can check that out, and also a link to the watercolor paper stretching video if you missed that. So basically, it keeps your paper completely flat so that you don't have it buckling on you when you paint. This would be like completely curled and wrinkly if I hadn't have done this because it was a very inexpensive um, thin student grade paper. It was the Fabriano student 75 sheet pad 90 pound paper. So then um, people ask me when you paint on it do you keep it on the board? Yes you keep it on the board until you're all done working on it and uh, then people were asking well how do you remove it? There's a couple different ways that um, I would remove it. Uh, you can cut right along where the tape and the paper meet there. You can I put a cork that was a tip from a viewer. Stick your knife in a cork so you don't cut your hands. Um, so I could slice right along there and cut the paper off that way. But I kind of went right to the edge, so I decided I wanted, I needed a little room so when I mat it, I have something to attach the mat to. So what I'm going to do is actually slice it, and I can kind of see where the paper meets, um, where kind of at the edge of the paper. So I'm going to slice through the tape right at the edge of the paper on all four sides. And don't worry about cutting your board because honestly, the more you use these masonite or hardboard, well masonite's a brand name, but it's just a uh, hardboard, the more you use these, actually the better they work. I, these are the first time I used these and I was surprised that none of my tape popped up because sometimes that happens if the board is too oily. So see, this is gonna come right up. So that's just another little tip for you. Don't be afraid to, uh, to cut right into that board because that's what this is for. This is not gonna be some pristine surface. It's going to have scratches on it, and it's going to have paint stains on it, and just going to be lovely like that. Now, brown tape, anytime you have brown paper, brown tape, it's generally going to be acidic, so we do not want to leave this uh, tape on our paper, um, if it's something that we wish to have around for any length of time, because eventually the uh, the acid, well, I, I mean, I'm... I'm like 90% sure this, that any of these brown tapes are acidic. So to remove the tape from the paper, you're going to need to get it wet. So you want to be uh, careful with that because you don't want to um, smudge your painting. So what I'm going to do is just take a sponge, a wet sponge, and I'm just going to gently moisten the tape here all the way around. I'm going to try not to bother my painting too badly. And I just want to get that get that moist so that it'll reactivate the adhesive in there and uh, allow me to pull off the tape. And I don't want to get my paper wet, be really wet because then it's going to buckle and that's going to undo all of the uh, all of the lovely work that we did to keep it to keep it um, from buckling. So I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes so it can soften up and we can do the same thing to the board. We can wet our paper, wet our tape. And of course, if you don't even want to deal with that, just cut the paper off where the ta at the edge of the tape, and then you can just remove the tape from your board. And honestly, if you leave the tape on your board, you could go over it if it doesn't want to come off. It's not that big of a deal. But you can start, you know, once the once the water gets in there, the it'll loosen up the adhesive, and you'll be able to get it off. It's not a big deal. See, peels right off. And anything left behind will just add a little bit of a uh, you know roughness to help it adhere next time. So just wet it and peel it off. Once that tape softens up, it's it's quite easy. There we go. So this will be ready for me to stretch another piece of watercolor paper on it. Just, I'll pull off any of those extra bits later. So I'm gonna wipe off my table and we're gonna get back to that painting. Hopefully it has, um, hopefully the water has done its thing. And my mats would cover over just a little bit of that anyway, so if it does lift any of the paper, I'm not gonna be too worried about it. I wouldn't rush it because you don't want to, you know, you want it to um, to peel off fairly gently. So I think I would let it sit for a little bit and then just start to gently peel it back. Maybe even use like a little paintbrush and some water just to loosen it up there. Um, so some people asked me what um, what they should bother stretching and what they shouldn't. Um, I would say anything over a quarter sheet size 
which would be 11 by 14 and 140 pounds. You can go ahead and stretch. That would really improve your painting. Um, your painting pro process. It would just feel nicer to paint like that. Um, and I would say definitely anything less than 90 pounds. I would I would bother stretching to see once that um, once that tape has had the water on it you can very gently peel it off and reveal that nice white background so you know that's just basically to save the and you know and if it's just a practice and you don't care you don't have to bother with it but I think if you're taking the time to stretch your paper you probably want to keep it around and again the only reason I'm removing the tape and not just cutting it right up against that line is because I need room for um, attaching a mat. So I hope that helped you with any of your questions that you had on watercolor stretching. Uh, if you have any other questions, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you. I want to thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy crafting!